you probably already can tell that I really love vintage patterns. They're like a gift from the past. But knitting, sewing, or crocheting with vintage patterns isn't always the easiest thing in the world, especially the further you go back in time. Sometimes the patterns are incomplete because they're that old. Sometimes the instructions are vague because they assume that you already knew the basics. And in the case of knitting patterns, it's almost always impossible that you will find the original yarn that they're calling for in the pattern because it's discontinued, because it's that old. That means that once you're delving into it, you have to have an intermediate, pretty decent knowledge of knitting already and how patterns work and how to construct garments and how to substitute yarn and it's a lot. What if you just want the look you want the silhouette, but you are not that experienced and you don't want to deal with all of the challenges that are, will come with an actual vintage pattern. Thankfully, incorporating vintage into your daily life I think has never been easier than before. There are a lot of designers out there who are taking inspiration from this decades past and making available new patterns that are either inspired or even reproducing old styles. While these patterns are more available, easier to read, constructed in a way that it's closer to modern ways of knitting, for example, in the round instead of in pieces and sewing, and they probably will have yarn that you can use. If you're interested on incorporating vintage in your closet, then I recommend this list of designers and patterns that I think you're gonna enjoy. Number one, I'm gonna shamelessly plug myself because I did just release a pattern that was inspired by vintage style. I made a whole video about it, so I'm not gonna go really into detail, but basically this is a top that was inspired both by, by my culture, my Mexican culture, but and also by the silhouette of, you know, the 1940s, 1930s um, type of tops. It's, it's knit in circulars, not in pieces, so it's pretty easy to follow and it's made with yarn from knit picks which you can also get almost anywhere number two is becoming one of my favorite knitwear designers because most of her designs are vintage inspired or have like that kind of vintage look to it i'm actually wearing one of her designs today it's the first one that i finished but i am also knitting one else this is a this is a minerva cardigan i ran out of this color and that's why i used a different yarn for the the band and the neck but i thought it was a nice pop of color um this is a very simple cardigan but you can kind of tell that it has that uh puffy sleeves and vintage look to it one thing i gotta say though is that you have to kind of already know some of the basics of construction, not as much as with an actual vintage pattern, but she is not as detailed as some other American patterns the way they're written. So I would say that if you want to get her patterns, you should be at least like, in a, like a confident beginner and already have made other patterns in the past. Otherwise, it's really easy, really accessible, and they're all very beautiful. I'm currently working on another pattern from her. It's the Eowyn. You win. Is it you in blouse? This is how much I have so far, but um, it has like these beautiful flutter sleeves and also the puffy um, shoulders. I also want to knit the heirloom jumper and the Rembrandt Barrett and a lot of others, but those are like high in my list. Number three is one that I kind of recently discovered and that it's Poison Girls. I love the name. Uh, Poison Girls is a brand that is mainly focusing on vintage designs uh, again very 1950s mostly and i discovered them when i was commissioned to make a sweater and it's a magical rocking around sweater which is one that has tinsel in it it is very beautiful i have never made anything like that before and that's how i saw all of their other patterns a lot of sweaters a lot of cardigans from uh their collection of patterns i would recommend pretty much all of our pullovers they're very pretty but I especially like the Betty and Judy Lodge sweater, which is very Christmassy, uh, and the Dottie pullover. They're both really nice and they're in my queue. Number four of my modern vintage knitting recommendations is kind of an obvious one, and you probably heard from her before. It's Susan Crawford, and she actually has two or three volumes of vintage patterns that were um, rewritten. This is, this is like such a great collection because she has patterns that go from the 1920s all the way to the 1950s. So obviously, because it's in a book, it's one of those cases in which you can't really purchase them individually, I don't think. But the 
book is actually available online as a PDF. So you can get a whole bunch of modern vintage patterns or vintage pattern reproductions. There's a lot of beautiful ones that I want to make and among them are the Jan sweater and the Kasha Corrigan. I wish I could get those books in print. I tried looking for them. Probably in the UK you can. I don't think in the US. But at least you can get the PDF. So I think that's gonna happen very soon for me because I want to get some of those beautiful patterns. And number five, instead of giving you another designer, I thought I put together a list of some individual patterns that maybe their designer is not always doing vintage inspired type of patterns, but they have one or two that I think are really beautiful and that fall into this category. One of them is the sweater number seven by My Favorite Things that has like kind of Victorian flair. It's really beautiful. It's like a Victorian bicycle sweater. Uh, I also would make the Be Mine blouse by Park and Knit. She released that very recently. And I don't know if I would place it as a, in a specific decade, but it just has like very delicate, dainty details that I think give it like this vintage style or look to it. Another pattern that I found really beautiful is the Hush Chemise by Amanda Williams. So it's a chemise, so it's supposed to be worn under a corset. You could wear it as a shirt too. I don't know how uh, historically accurate it is, to be honest, to wear knitted chemises, but it is beautiful. And my last recommendation is actually a free pattern that is very easy and very cute. And I made it recently when I posted about it, people kind of went crazy for it. They were all asking me if I designed it. I didn't design it and it's called the Bowtie Keyhole Scarf by Beverly Lestma. It just happens to be the same color as the cardigan I'm wearing, but um, it's like a little um, scarf, cravat, and it took me maybe two hours, maybe less than that to make it with just some leftover yarn. So I totally recommend making at least this pattern to start from all the lists that I just told you about. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that list and then I gave you some ideas for your next make. There really are a lot of beautiful designs out there that deserve to be made and you don't have to break your head trying to figure out a vintage, actual vintage pattern if you are not ready yet and you can still get that look. So let me know which one of these patterns is your favorite, which one you would like to make next and happy knitting!